Long service leave requires slightly different handling than other payroll leave items because of the special legislative conditions that apply to it. It does vary from state to state and between different work contract conditions. You should speak with your accountant for any special conditions, like a workplace agreement, that specify details of long service leave for your workplace. In this video, we will use the basic requirements set out by New South Wales Industrial Relations. You do need to know when an employee becomes available for long service leave, like after 10 years service for the first entitlement. How much long service leave will be available? like 2 months or 8.67 weeks. From when a pro rata payment can be made, like from 5 years service. And any other inclusions pertaining to your workplace or state. As no long service leave is payable before 5 years of service, you do not need to track it for that time period. Whether you do start tracking it from this point on is a business preference. You will need to manually calculate the long service leave entitlement to the last pay before the five year period completes. To enter this amount, go to Administration, Payroll Settings and Year to Date Balances. Click on the Leave Balances tab and add Leave Balances. We can now enter an update. Select the employee, select the long service leave item Select the date to which your calculation of accrued long service leave applies. This should be the pay in day of the last pay period paid. And the amount of hours accrued. Give this entry a reference if you wish. Then click save and close and see the entry in the year to date setup table. You can now enter a long service leave payroll item on your employee's record. Go to payroll. Employees, double click on the employee, click on the leave tab and click on add new row and select the long service leave item. Now complete the details. Enter the annual entitlement in hours, that is 8.67 weeks divided by 10 times by the number of hours in your working week, like 37 and a half or 40 hours, etc. Select the accrual period. This will convert the annual entitlement to the correct rate for your pay frequency. And it will appear in the next field, the rate per period. The leave start date will be the date of employment. The maximum field can be left blank. And to pay on termination, tick the box. This will mean when you do a termination pay, the outstanding long service leave will be automatically included in the final pay calculation. Now click anywhere on the screen to update the entry. Notice that in the leave balance section below, a long service leave item has appeared with zeros for all the fields. You can click and close and open this employee again and you will see the year to date balance you entered earlier. You are now ready to accrue long service leave entitlement for this employee. Thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions please go to reckon.com forward slash support.